Omaha City Council votes to permanently remove Vinnie Palermo from his role as vice president. Good evening. I'm Quinicia Fraser. I'm Bill Shammer. Palermo is still a councilman despite him being in jail, charged in a federal fraud case. He's one of four men accused in the massive scheme. Last week, a federal judge denied their release as they await trial. KETV News Watch 7's Alex McLoon is live with the effort now to boot Vinnie Palermo from the council altogether. Alex. A few council members, some community advocates are calling for Palermo's complete removal, but city council doesn't have the authority to do that themselves. Palermo is absent. Until Vinnie Palermo misses three straight months of meetings unexcused, six months altogether, or is convicted of a felony, the charged and detained council member is still a part of City Hall. Voting yes would be against my moral compass. Councilmember Juanita Johnson says Palermo is innocent until proven guilty, even as he faces allegations of violating his federal probation. A woman from Palermo's district also showed up Tuesday wearing this Free Vinny t-shirt. Why Free Vinny? Because Vinny's a good guy. He's he's helped his community in, in lots of ways, and you can't take that away from him. She says the council member left a good impression on her after a community service project, but community advocates continue to call for new representation. I am so ready to see new community-inspired leadership to resurrect from, from, from this ash that has been left by this explosion. For now, council members have rearranged seats and stripped Palermo of his title as vice president. He's not going to be able to perform those duties, so I think it's, an incum it's incumbent upon us to um, to take this action. The city council president says some are researching a city contracting provision to remove Palermo altogether, but he adds that that's already part of the federal indictment process that's playing out. Live at City Hall, Alex McLoon, KETV News Watch 7.